You've made it. After countless nights studying gradient descent and fine-tuning transformers, you're officially hired as an ML engineer. You imagine working on cutting-edge algorithms, training state-of-the-art neural networks, fine-tuning transformers, and building LLMs. Fast forward a month and your ML job looks like this. Let's get one thing straight. Most ML jobs are not what they seem. Sure, the title says machine learning engineer, but in practice, instead of training neural networks or fine-tuning transformers, you're likely spending most of your time cleaning messy data sets, writing SQL queries, building pipelines, and debugging ancient ETL workflows. Sound familiar? This reality shocks many newcomers to the field, but why is it like this? To understand why, we need to look at how businesses use machine learning. The truth is most companies don't need cutting edge ML. Instead, they rely on basic oh, statistic, yep, statistic, yep, yep, statistic, dashboards yep, and rule-based systems yep, to solve yep, their problems. For many companies, simplicity isn't just a preference it's essential. Explainability and low risk win over complexity every time. They're not wrong. For most use cases, simpler methods like linear regression or even hard-coded rules are enough to deliver results. What skills do you need for the ML-free ML jobs? To thrive in an ML role that's heavy on data engineering, you need more than just ML theory. One SQL, you'll write complex queries to extract, clean, and join data. Think of it as the foundation of everything else. Two, data engineering tools. Learn to use Apache Airflow, Kafka, or similar tools to build pipelines. Understand how to handle ETL, extract, transform, load processes. Three, scripting and automation. Python and Pandas are your best friends for data wrangling. Knowing bash scripts or even tools like Luigi can be a huge plus for automating tasks, organizing workflows, and automating recurring jobs. Four, cloud platforms. Familiarize yourself with Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, or Azure for data storage and compute needs. Transitioning to real ML. If you're not happy with the lack of ML in your current job, you have two choices. You try to steer your job toward ML, internal transition to ML, or you change the job, external transition to ML. Here's how you can persuade your bosses to make your job more ML focused or even create a new position for you, not unheard of. One, build business first solutions. Tie your ML ideas to key performance indicators, KPIs. Managers care about impact, not complexity. Show how your model improves metrics like revenue, churn, or efficiency. Two, start with a demo. Use tools like Stream Lit or Gradio to create quick interactive demos. Let stakeholders play with your solution. Three, collaborate across teams. Partner with business intelligence teams or analysts to identify use cases where ML adds value. Offer to take ownership of the project's proof of concept POC that demonstrates ML's potential. If internal change isn't an option, you might need to look elsewhere. Here's how to position yourself for more ML-focused roles. One, target research labs or ML-first companies. Apply to places like OpenAI, Anthropic, or Star startups where the product is the model. Two, show off personal ML projects. Build a portfolio showcasing end-to-end -end projects from data cleaning to model deployment. Data projects on platforms like Stratascratch, GitHub, or Kaggle can help. Here are several suggestions. Laptop price prediction, prediction of stock price direction, keyword detection on websites, neural graph machine sentiment analysis, student alcohol consumption dataset. Three, upskill in research-oriented ML. Dive into deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. Explore topics like transformer models or reinforcement learning. Four, Consider higher education. Many research roles require a PhD or a master's degree in a relevant field. Here's the truth. Data engineering isn't the enemy, it's the foundation. If you master these skills, you'll not only be indispensable in your current role, but also well-equipped to transition into more ML-focused work. Real ML work is rare, but with the right skills and strategy, you can find or even create opportunities that align with your passion. If this video helped you understand what ML roles are really about, or inspired you to take the next step in your career, smash that like button and subscribe for more real world insights into machine learning and data science. Thanks for watching.